I'm going to build the most versatile team in FC24. These are players that managers absolutely love having in their team. So they can literally play anywhere on the field. We're starting with our goalkeeper position and you'll never guess who our goalkeeper is. Olivier Giroud. That's right. Someone who's been known to be as a number nine, a goal poacher, the big man up top. When AC Milan were in trouble, Mike McDan had got sent off. Up stepped Giroud, wearing the goalkeeper kit, showing his versatility and becoming the goalkeeper. How crazy is that and the astonishing thing is he was actually good made a crucial save to help milan win the game and for that ea literally gave him a goalkeeper card how cool is that and so the first player into this versatile team is olivier giroud if you thought giroud was crazy wait till you see who we're putting into our midfield position let me just give you a hint a lot of people think he's the world's best player at the minute it's of course jude bellingham it's crazy how as a midfielder he's playing literally center forward for real madrid and still has an incredible incredible record. Often in games, you see him cracking back and doing the dirty work as well. Bro, Bellingham could literally play left back, right back, striker, winger, wherever you want, he can do it. And so I think he fits the criteria of being in this versatile team. And EA have actually given him a Trail Blazers card that's 88 rated. Oh my god, he's 1.1 million almost, but we gotta get him for the video. Ah, oh, my coin balance is crying, but there you go. We've just got Jude Bellingham. And so Jude Bellingham is the second player to join this team. Why don't we now pick our CDM position? This one's actually super cool. It's a German World Cup winning player. Pep Guardiola once said he's got the highest football IQ in the sport. And honestly, when you've got the brains, you are going to be versatile. And that man is Philip Lahm. Look at already the amount of different positions he plays. He's been as a fullback and then Pep Guardiola kind of reinvented him, put him in the midfield as well. Philip Lahm can really do it all. And he's one of the players that come to your mind when you think of versatile footballers. And so we're spending half a million coins to buy him. And although Lam's a right back in the game, he can play CDM, so that's exactly where he's going. What a card, though, Philip Lam has got. Honestly, that physical is a bit meh, but pace, passing, dribbling. Look at all the play styles as well. Bro, this team is already looking crap. Um, the problem is I'm down to 3.8 million coins. Hopefully, I'll have enough coins to build out this team because we've got some even more crazy players coming up. Let's now venture into the centre-back positions, where we've got a certain Frenchman who can play centre-back as well as an attacking midfielder. Yep, guys, I couldn't believe it, but Blanc can actually do that. I don't understand which manager thought it was a good idea to play him at camp, but somehow he's done it in his career, maybe when he was a youngster, but I don't know how he would do as a cam with 67 shooting and 68 passing. His defensive stats, though, are great, and that's why he's going to be our centre-back, but, but because he has that camp position, he gets into our team. Okay, hang on a minute. In 97 games, he scored 16 goals. He was a goal scorer as well. Maybe that's why he played in that camp position interesting let's now pick our other center back and it's david alaba honestly i think he might be the most versatile player we've picked so far for our team even more than philip lam because you look at alaba's stats he can practically play anywhere in the defense but also the midfield and if you put him in the attack i don't think he would do a bad job i'm pretty sure he's played at center back for real madrid left back for bayern munich and for austria often they've put him in midfield and he takes free kicks and everything and so we've got alaba joining blanc in that defense we're now going to choose our left back and this is probably the most random player you've ever seen it's rachel daly yep a female footballer who plays for aston villa probably the english team as well but look at this she's a striker but she can also play as a left back how does that even work how does a manager think okay you're, you're scoring goals up top you know what let me see how you do it left back but i think that's what happened with her but i guess she's got the stats to be great in different positions what do you mean by that and so we got Rachel Daly joining the team. So far, this team is looking insane with Bellingham, Philip Lahm, and Lauren Blanc. But I'm hoping the attack will be good as well. Because you know the drill. Once we build this team, we're going to be going into a game where if I lose, any player with a match rating of below 7 gets discarded. But guys, hold up. There's going to be a massive twist as well before we play our game. I'm not going to tell you what that is now. You guys are going to have to wait until we build the team. You know what? Let's switch things up and go with our attack. I'm going to go for the right winger position. And here we've got Rodrigo. I just completed his SPC, which was, by the way, really expensive, almost half a million. But he is honestly such a versatile player. You can play him anywhere in the attack. He's got the striker position, right wing, left wing, and that's what he does for Real Madrid. Although he's often on the bench for them. I mean, I guess that's a position too. But yeah, I've often seen him come off the right, play as a striker if needed, play on the left as well. Rodrigo just does that. And I think he's a worthy inclusion in this versatile team. Oh, and by the way, I haven't used this card yet. I'm actually 
really excited to because look at those stats. Oh my. Let's now go back to the defense and complete it. I'll give you a hint for who our right back is. It's a player that's very similar to Philip Lahm and many would say it's literally Philip Lahm's regen. And yup, it's Joshua Kimmich. The similarities he has with Philip Lahm is actually uncanny. He's also played in CDM. He can play in midfield and of course the right back position. That was where he started. I don't think he's as good as Philip Lahm but good enough to definitely get into our versatile team. Oh, but that pace kind of scares me. 70 pace. Defending with him is going to be a bit tricky. Also, guys, a big thank you for helping me hit 40k subscribers on this channel. But next stop is 50k. And I need your help to get there. So make sure to subscribe. And the next player is kind of similar to Philip Lahm. As in, it's a player who played in the fullback position. Can play on either side. But then he was so good there that they decided to play him in midfield often. But yeah, one difference is that he's Argentinian. That's right, boys. I'm talking about Javier Zanetti. Look at the positions he's got. He can play right back, left back, and also center mid. And he's honestly got the stats for it as well. The passings there, the dribbling. I'm pretty sure Zanetti at the start of his career was like a fullback. But then he transitioned as he lost a bit of pace into midfield. I'm pretty sure that's how his career trajectory was. And only quality players can do that, man. It's not easy being a fullback and then transitioning to a midfielder. You've got to have the football IQ. And clearly Zanetti has loads of it. And so we're buying him for 436,000 coins. Bro, this team is expensive. And there you go, boys. Zanetti joins the most versatile team in FC24. I'll tell you this. This team's expensive, but boy, is it really good. Just look at that midfield. Unbelievable. You can literally, like, put them all, swap them left, right, and center, and they'll all do the job. That That's just how good they are. It's time to pick the left winger of this team. It's also a player that can play in the striker position, probably on the right side if you want him to. It's one of the greatest South Korean players of all time, Hyung Min Son. He's got a player of the month card and I have to put him in because look at the different positions he can play. Striker, left midfield, left wing, he can do it all. And honestly, he can do it all because he's got that five-star weak foot. Right foot, left foot, doesn't matter. Son will get it done. Before we pick our final player, I think we need to have some honorable mentions because I could have fit in so many more players in here. For one, Jao Cancelo. He's a fullback that's kind of changed the game. He can play on the left, on the right as an inverted fullback and if you probably put him as a winger he'll do a good job but yeah he couldn't make it into the team then rude hullet is another one who's again super versatile but yeah i just can't afford him maybe in the future when i have the coins we'll do a video on him but right now i'm broke i mean i'm not broke i've still got 3.3 million coins left but i'm not Bateson. i can't afford him just yet but yeah you've got players like yaya tore who played in the camp position as well as a cdm and when needed by the manager he's even played as a center back in a Champions League final. But look at that midfield. Where would I put him in? So yeah, we're keeping them for the honorable mentions in the comment section. Let me know if there are any versatile players that I'm missing out on. It's time for the final player and it's probably my favorite one of this team and it's Wayne Rooney. The way this man has evolved his career is genuinely phenomenal. He started off as a striker with the pace, the physicality, the shooting, but then as his career progressed, he was able to drop deeper, play as a midfielder and just be so much more complete. I think he's one of the most complete footballers that Manchester United have ever seen and I think he's very underrated. He could literally play anywhere in the attack as well as the midfield. And there you go, we've bought our final player. Rooney goes right into the team and with that, we've built the most versatile team in my opinion in FC24. Every player in this team can play in a variety of different positions. This squad is as complete as it can get. We're now going to be heading into a game, but wait, I told you that there was going to be a massive twist. We've built this team based on versatility and it only makes sense that we test it out. So we're going to flip the switch. Our formation, the players' position, everything's going to be randomized. One eternity later. No way, guys. Everything's been randomized here. We're using a 3-4-3 formation. 3-4-2-1. I don't even know what this is. But look at the positions. This is where we're going to have to play our players in. Bellingham and striker, just like what Real Madrid are doing. Thankfully, we're able to use Rodrigo go at striker. That's big. Oh, yeah. but Hyung min Son's going to be playing as a center mid. Rachel Daly at left midfield. We've got Alaba at center back. That's a good thing. Kimmich and Philip Lahm at center back to wait. Where's Laurent Blanc? Oh, no. He's playing at cam position with that 68 passing and 67 shooting. I don't know what he's going to do there. Thankfully, Shiru is still in goal. That's, that's lucky. Okay, now the stakes are high. This team is going to have to prove its versatility. Remember, if we lose the game, any player with a match rating of less than seven gets discarded. Okay, our opponent has a good team with Carlos 
Carlos Puyol, Oli Watkins, Saka, and a hero card as well. This guy's probably wondering what an idiot I am for playing all my players out of position. He does not know we're testing out the versatility of this team. This team's gonna prove me right. Go on, striker Jude Bellingham. Let's see what he can do. Jude Bellingham. Oh, goes for goal. Oh, that was not bad. Our defense just does not have what it takes, man, Bruh. honestly. Oh, my days. Easy. Route somehow makes the same. I don't know why he slid so early, though. Oh, oh there's Wayne Rooney. I told you, he Thank can you. play anywhere in the midfield, but Son can't. Jungmin Son, so far, is failing the versatility test. We've got to take advantage of the fact that we've got Rodrigo in the attack, because he is absolutely crazy. Look at him go. Can he maybe put a cross in? That's what I'm going to try and do. Okay, okay. Okay, cut back. Morin Blanc. He's got 67 shooting, man. He's not converting that. I'm not going to lie. Defending is the biggest problem here because it's so hard. Oh, my days. We might yeah. concede here. No, we've got Wayne Rooney tracking back and doing the job. I told you, he is that guy. I think Alaba's forgotten that he's playing as a center back. But, okay, we'll let that slide. Alaba still goes. Cut back. Let's go. Sanetti on the other side scores. Let's go, boys. Oh, David Alaba. He's been the best player, I think, of this team, along with Wayne Rooney. They, these two have been carrying our midfield and defense. No, no, it's a bit too much for David Alaba. Olivier Giroud, you just moved away. That's a silly goal to concede. Every time we concede, I get worried, man, because our match rating is going to drop for a fair few players, and that is not going to be good. Young Min Son, okay. Son, come on. Nope. Oh, no, the final play. It's Puyol, man. What could Son do there? Oh, my God, my defense has just been completely modded. There. Olivier Oh my god, that's a crazy save. Oh, Bellingham looking for Rodrigo. What a ball. Let's go. Rodrigo, you've got to score this. You're playing in your preferred position. And there you go. Rodrigo gives us the lead. And he's doing the Cristiano celebration. I'll tell you what. Laurent Blanc at Cam, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a fraudulent decision. Because he's just so bad. Somebody just play him at center back, man. I don't like it there. All right, guys. It's halftime. And what I'm worried about are the ratings. Okay, Bellingham and Rodrigo are doing well but Laurent Blanc with 5.2 that's that's depressing Hyungmin Son with 5.7 oh my a lot of the ratings are really bad we need to change that or we need to win the game one of those two things oh what a ball that is from Jude Bellingham we're gonna cut it back Laurent Blanc no way <laughs> Laurent Blanc has scored with his 67 shooting I can't believe it no, 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 Kimmich. There you go. You play him at center back. He'll still do the job. We're now playing some football. Now, look at this. Laura Blanc again. No way. He's done it again. <laughs> Blanc and Cam. No way. Are we getting a rage win? Is he actually going to be leaving? And yes, guys, he's actually gone. It, it was too versatile for him, our team. And that does mean nobody in our team gets discarded. And if you enjoyed this video, why not watch me buy one amazing player from every Premier League club? Click here to watch that.